Hello, my name is Curtis Eckerman and I am a professor at Austin Community College and uh, my students and I are in a section or we just completed a section on protists and one of the things I had the students do was collect pond water samples and this is a pond water sample that uh, was collected actually behind the school here at the Riverside campus and while this is not a protist we found a water bear and what we're witnessing is the hatching of eggs, um, of, of water bear eggs, of tardigrades. And our first impression was that um, this was the female that was giving birth, but uh, upon uh, reading and doing a little background research, this is very likely the large structure at the bottom is likely the shed of the female and then the, the eggs are hatching and they're coming out. Still very, very cool. Uh, don't see this every day. And so this is, uh, uh, we've got two of them, two small. You can see them moving around here. These are two small, newly hatched tardigrades. And as we go along, you're gonna continue to see uh, a few more of uh, tardigrade come out. And in fact, we're seeing one now starting to come out the back end here and it will um, fully emerge here shortly, but uh, again, the tardigrades in, in, their, in their reproduction, typically what happens is the female, well, different species have different strategies. Um, some species are dioecious, that is, they have both sexes. Some are asexual. Um, in this case, this is probably a dioecious species. The female leaves her eggs in her molt, and then the, the male will come along and fertilize them later and I think that's what we are seeing now as we're seeing the result of that um, development and 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 that's why earlier we saw this specimen or I saw a water bear earlier and it was definitely not translucent like this uh, earlier so I, I suspect again that this is the shed and that the, these are eggs that are hatching and um, that are coming out of that shed anyway uh, enjoy the rest of the video it's just going to continue to uh, uh, watch these uh, young develop. Towards the end, uh, you'll see kind of the body wall of, of this shed kind of rupture as well. So that's again why I suspect that we're not looking at uh, a, a actually a live mother, but instead uh, the shed with the eggs in it. Enjoy.